What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're talking about stocking stuffers from the Zero Chill promo. We're going to go over how to get them, how to upgrade them, and the best ones to put on your team. Let's go ahead and jump right on into the content. We're going to start with how you get these stocking stuffers. There's a handful of ways. We'll start with solo challenges. And I might be jumping around here, so my apologies, but there's four different sections of solos that you can be playing through for the zero chill promo this is a multiple part promo right now we have eight stocking stuffer cards available to us i believe eight more are coming out for part two i know in previous years like every single team got one we got 32 of them that doesn't seem to be the case this year at least they didn't say that on the zero chill reveal stream maybe that information changes later uh, but you have the welcome to the zero chill solos at tier eight which is going to be 16 stars you're going to get a stocking stuffer pack the other thing i don't like about these is that they're not a fantasy pack meaning you're going to get a random stocking stuffer so if there's one you absolutely want you're not going to get that choice you got to hope that you get lucky out of this pack but at the welcome to zero chill solos again tier 8 16 stars which i'm pretty sure is is capable of be getting done right now you can get one stocking stuffer if you go into the madden express solos you're going to get snowflakes which are also key to upgrading these cards so we'll show you that when we talk about how to upgrade them uh but you get another one here at tier 3 which is going to be 35 stars and you do get more stuff uh, snowflakes and another one at tier 7 which is 110 stars uh, but you do get more snowflakes as well I believe no I, I was wrong there you get zero chill XP though in these solo challenges and the field pass where you're applying this XP to gives you more snowflakes and I think there's another stocking stuffer in there they're just kind of all over the place so my apologies for jumping around frozen festivities I can confirm 100 per, 110 percent here uh, at tier 1 which is only 10 stars you get a stocking stuffer you get more XP for for the field pass more snowflakes which you're going to need to upgrade in the stocking stuffers and then at tier 6 110 stars you get yet another one so as you can see there's a bunch of different ways to get these and it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to upgrade all of these players we're going to open up one of these packs that i earned from the solo challenges in a moment and you're actually going to see that those cards quick sell for snowflakes as well which is the alternate currency from this promo uh the frozen forge the main reason you're playing through this is to get the free 92 overall brandon graham but but tier two and tier four, you're going to get some snowflakes. I don't believe, yeah, there's not a stocking stuffer in those solos. So you're playing through, there's a lot of offline grind. You're playing through all of this to get the stocking stuffer packs and to get the snowflakes that you can use to upgrade that player to a 92 OVR. Now we mentioned the uh, zero chill field pass as well. If I go into that, you'll see that very early on at level four, you get yet another stocking stuffer pack. Now I mentioned it a moment ago, there's going to be at least eight more of these coming out. It wouldn't be a bad idea as you start to earn these because there's so many available to hang on to them and wait for part two to come out so when you open them up you might have the chance at getting one of the newer cards versus the first eight that came out but we will go over all of the eight cards that are out available to us right now and talk about the best ones to upgrade let's talk about how to upgrade them now so i did save one of the packs that i received from the solo challenges here and this has to be one of if not the best animations we've seen so far in all of mutt 24 i really really love that one so we got fullback Michael Burton. So if you go into this card, it starts at an 82 OVR. You're going to need to go to the upgrade path, similar to most cards, you know, whether you're adding abilities or upgrading them. You got the first step, which requires five training. And then after that, to increase the OVR, and it looks like it goes up plus two every time, you need to spend snowflakes. Now, we showed you a couple different ways that you can earn those snowflakes in the solo challenges. There's a bunch of them also in the field pass, the zero chill field pass. In totality, you need 5,850. 55 snowflakes to upgrade the card from its lowest level all the way up to a 91 so now comes the point is this actually worth doing are these cards worth it as it stands right now and i know some of you might want some of these cards for theme team purposes i don't think any of these cards are worth upgrading we're still going to go over all of them but there's just not enough ways in the game currently to earn snowflakes i showed you the solos i showed you the zero chill field pass you can also spend these on packs in the stores and one of the big draws one of the main things of the zero chill promo are presents and you're also going to need snowflakes to open up presents in the store and i know that's probably not going to guarantee you a bunch of 91 overall cards like upgrading these will but at the end of the day it's just more fun and more exciting now i do think on part two of the promo we're going to see a limited head-to-head -head event and it could be very similar to what we saw for the most feared promo where you win super bowls or get into the playoffs and you earn snowflakes 
versus it was, I believe, treats at that promo, right? So there's probably going to be more ways to earn them, but as of right now, there's not a lot of ways. So I would hold all of the snowflakes that I get and wait to see what part two brings us. Uh, you will lose some in the transition here, but you can always upgrade like this Michael Burton. And then if you decide you don't want the card, you can downgrade it. You will get some of your snowflakes back. You won't get all of them. It's not an even exchange when you refund them, but then you could apply those towards another player if, you know, part two drops a, a player that you might need for your theme team or whatnot. Um, and again, these, these cards, the 82 overall stocking stuffers, I think are the only cards in the game currently that quick sell for snowflakes. It's not a huge return, but you do get 110. So if you're not interested in any of these players at all, you can quick sell them and then go ahead and use those snowflakes in the store to get presents or to do rerolls or to, you know, get one of the 90 OVR packs. There's a 93 pack and there's a lot of options in the snowflake store that you can use these on aside from just upgrading these stocking stuffing players. These cards are also auctionable. So if you don't want to upgrade them and you don't want to quick sell them for snowflakes, you can make some coin. And just to compare, a normal 82 that quick sells for training currently is going for about 3,000 coins versus these 82s are going for about 16K. It's also an opportunity, and I don't know if the prices are going to go up and down on these as part two comes out, but if you're really trying to get as many snowflakes as possible, it will get expensive buying these over and over and over again. But right now, aside from the field pass and the solo challenges, you know, the things that we showed you already, this is the only other way to earn snowflakes buying these cards and quick selling them so with all that being said let's go over the players again my personal opinion i would hang on to your stocking stuffer packs and i would not bother upgrading them right now but there are a couple decent cards out of the bunch i think byron young is probably one of the better ones if you need a pass rusher remember you get the free 92 ovr brandon graham from the forge solos but this could be uh you know on the other side of your d line with this card here 89 speed 90 acceleration 92 block shed 88 power move and remember there is a zero chill strategy item that you unlock via the objectives in the field pass that gives you plus one speed to all zero chill cards so you can get this one up to 90 speed and boost some of the other attributes abilities wise he gets defensive rally for 2 ap under pressure for 2 ap and then edge threat which i don't think is worth it but edge threat is available on this card for 3 ap the next one is going to be bernard Rainman. aside from his awareness not a bad card at left tackle 93 strength 83 awareness 91 pass block and 87 run block the reason i would definitely skip over on this one one is because he's a left tackle and when you think about it just over the last month or so you had the free John Madden left tackle that you could earn from the all Madden promo from the harvest promo there was a Jordan Mylotta that you could have got from one of the free uh, hero harvest fantasy packs and then also there was the hungry harvest card and Trent Brown that could go up to a 91 OVR and that was also free so that position crowded at free cards and I think a lot of those cards I just mentioned are better than this one so if you missed out on all of them yeah maybe you go this route but overall i would pass on this card zach wilson somehow zach wilson got an upgrade before joe burrow and justin herbert and a bunch of other quarterbacks in the game and i always laugh when i see zach wilson cards in mutt because there was a time a couple years ago where Zach Wilson, I think it was his rookie year, had like the best quarterback card in Mutt for almost a month straight. He got set feet lead very early on, and it was actually a really good card. This one, it's decent to be honest. 88 speed, 91 throw power, short throw 92, 88 for the mid, and then 90 for the deep. He doesn't get really any good abilities, unfortunately. So he has Gunslinger for 2 AP. There's no set feet lead out there. There's no hot route master available to him there. And, you know, you got free Michael Vic that you can earn from the season three field pass that's probably better and also gets better abilities plus at level 25 of the zero chill field pass you get this free 91 OVR Baker Mayfield which is a slightly better card he's a little bit slower the accuracies aren't as good as well but he does have a little bit more throw power and he gets more theme teams and the Baker card also gets gunslinger for 2 AP no other worthwhile abilities but he has a slinger 7 release which I'll be honest I don't think I I've seen any other player in the game have that one so I don't know how good it is but it's probably going to be better than than Zach Wilson's traditional two release or generic two I can't remember which one it is if you're looking for a cornerback a free cornerback and you play a lot of zone Greg Newsom isn't a terrible option 91 speed 91 acceleration 90 agility
agility. He is six foot even, so he's got decent height there. He just doesn't have good man coverage. Only 83 man, but he does have 91 zone. 87 press isn't terrible. He gets some good abilities for zone coverage, so you can get flat zone KO for 2 AP, and then either mid zone or deep in zone KO for 3 AP. If he would have got deep out zone KO, it would have been a much, much better card. And if you like to play man coverage, CJ Henderson is going to be your better option, and he is the better option between the two because he also has 90 zone. So 91 man, 90 zone. His press and play rec a bit low there, but 91 speed, 92 jumping, agility, acceleration good, and he is six foot one, so he's an inch taller there than the Greg Newsom card. So this is the better of the two, in my opinion. His abilities are strictly man coverage favoring, uh, short route KO, mid route KO, both three AP. I wish one of those cards I just mentioned got pick artists. It seems like we don't really have a ton of free cards in the game, and, and you can basically earn enough snowflakes in the game to upgrade any of these for free. It's you know, is it worth it or not? Um, but it's it's a shame we don't see many corners in the game that are free that get pick artists. Nick Gates, I, you know, I say this every single promo, and later this afternoon we're gonna be dropping a video on the best 90 overall zero chill heroes because you can earn a couple of those for free. But every promo they give us a free center, and Nick Gates is yet another one. It's not worth it right now to use abilities on any offensive lineman, in my opinion. This card, pretty good attribute wise 90 strength, 90 awareness, 89 pass block, 91 run block. But again, it's kind of crowded there. Team captains can go up to a 92 OVR. So some of you might be using the Kevin Mawai and have him all the way up to a 92. And even if you maxed out another player, there's enough tokens in the game to get a second team captain up to an 89 OVR. So that plus the fact that team captain captains after an 85 can get any team chem, you might want to go that route. You also have the free Jason Kelsey if you play through the season. And two field pass and Creed Humphrey at one point I think in the competitive pass was a free card in an AKA fantasy pack so center position good card here but it's just overloaded with free options so I would stay away from this one Devin Godchalk is actually not a terrible card. 78 speed, 89 block shed, 90 play rack, but he's got good strength and good tackle. I think he's going to be a, a decent run stopper, but it's kind of like the situation with the cornerbacks here. He doesn't get inside stuff, and I don't think there's been one free defensive tackle in the game yet that gets inside stuff. So this is a position you tend to not want to spend your coins on, and that's understandable. So if you want to go ahead and upgrade over here, you certainly can. I don't think this card is worth it, but it's not a terrible option. And then usually this would be like, you know, the number one go-to because it's a fullback. Michael Burton, look at all the theme teams he gets. 89 speed, 93 strength, 95 lead block, 89 run block. It's actually a pretty good card. 75 catch isn't bad as well. You're not going to want to waste any abilities on him. But we have the free Twitch Drops program right now for a 91 overall Donald Penn that you can earn. By default, he is a tight end, but he does get a secondary position of fullback. He's fully custom customizable, and also he gets any of the 32 team chems. So if you want two different fullbacks for your squad, and if you got a theme team that has, you know, the Bears, Broncos, Chiefs, Commanders, Lions, or Saints, you can go that route plus Donald Penn. And now the fullback position on your depth chart has two theme teams towards it. Um, but overall, you know, I would skip this one if you're not in that boat and just go out and get the, the Donald Penn card. And if you don't know how to get that yesterday or last night, we did drop a video going over that entire Twitch Drops program to get that card for free. We're going to link that video down below in the comment section, so make sure you go check it out. And there you have it. Those are the best Part 1 stocking stuffers. Again, I would hold off on everything, including opening up those packs, but if you were looking for the best one and it's too late, you already made the decision, there you go. Thank you for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.